And the country's law enforcement officials also took part in that meeting. There, they said they will do all they can to root out social crimes, especially in the wake of some horrifying cases of child abuse we've seen in the past few weeks. Here's our Park Ji-won with this report. Korea's Minister of Justice has stressed that a firm legal foundation has to underpin the government's plans for structural reform. Laying of his ministry's plans for 2015 to President Park Geun-hye on Wednesday, Justice Minister Hwang Kyo-wan focused on ways to re-establish law and order, build a law-abiding society, and eradicate deep-rooted crimes. The ministry says the protection of Korea's constitutional values are at the core of attempts to maintain and strengthen law and order. It says pro-North Korean campaigns and illegal protests will be subject to stricter crackdowns. The Justice Ministry will also strengthen legal education for young people and ordinary citizens in conjunction with the Education Ministry to foster a more law-abiding society. The ministry will also focus on crime prevention. A top priority is tackling child abuse, a reflection of the public's fury over recent child abuse cases. The government plans to inspect every daycare center and build a stronger network with the police to swiftly respond to abuse cases. Sex crimes as well as domestic and school violence and crimes related to the unsanitary management of food are other areas the ministry has vowed to stamp out. The government also aims to increase support for the victims of crime. The government is also going to strengthen its pro bono legal services in a joint effort with Korea Legal Aid Corporation. The Anti-Corruption and Civil Rights Commission of Korea stresses that rooting out corruption and raising the level of social trust is key to achieving the government's lofty goals. It vowed a swift passage of comprehensive anti-corruption bill that's currently pending at the National Assembly. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.